everyone welcome back to my youtube channel just before i start with this video i'm so sorry for the background noise i have all my windows open because it's literally boiling hot in the uk right now so if you hear like people talking when they go past and like cars like passing by then i'm really sorry about that but i honestly don't want to boil in my room right now while i'm filming anyways today is a review and a try and haul of x plus wears clothing range if you haven't heard of x plus wear before they are a clothing company that cater towards plus size people and obviously i'm a plus size person so i'm going to be trying out some of their clothing items today a lot of these clothing items that i'm going to be reviewing are like evening dresses i know i've just missed prom season but if you're going to like an event or something and you're plus size like me and you're looking for places that do amazing like evening dresses because some of these pieces look absolutely gorgeous and i can't wait to try them on and show you guys just a little disclaimer x plus wear has gifted me all of these items but i can guarantee you this is going to be an honest review like i won't hold back if something doesn't fit me or if it doesn't fit right on me like i'm going to be telling you the pros and cons of every single one of these dresses here i have five items to review and try on so so let's get on with the try and haul. So before I start talking about each item, I just want to say to you guys that with most of these I sized up. Before you buy off this website, please make sure you're looking at the measurements because I almost got every single one of these in a 3XL, but I'm so glad that I checked the measurements because the measurements said otherwise. I went for like 4XL, 5XL for some of these pieces of clothes. I'm quite big around the bust area, so I have to make sure that my boobs can fit into a lot of these dresses. Uh, so yeah, so please make sure you check the measurements of every single clothing that you are about to buy. You want to make sure it fits you before you buy it. Check the measurements before you buy. So this is the first dress. This isn't really an evening dress. This is more of an everyday sort of dress. It's very colourful. I was absolutely drawn to the colours of this and the little frills. I thought it looked so cute. Um, the only thing is... <laughs> I'm sort of bursting out here. Um, I kind of struggled to get it over my boobs even though I looked at the measurements. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit bursting out here. Also, if I do, if I try to do this top button up, oh, if I try to, I can't really do it because of my double chin. And it sort of chokes me. Um, but it's cute. I absolutely love the frilliness of the dress. I just don't think it fits me quite right for me. I don't know if I could have got this a size bigger. I went for a 4XL. I probably should have went for a 5XL just so I could have fit my boobs in and maybe get a bit more room around the neck area. If I just leave this top bit open and like this isn't super noticeable. It just sort of stretches out a bit but i like this here it kind of gives me a bit of shape around here and sort of covers this area but this is really cute i feel very frilly this is a very everyday sort of dress but i could definitely have gone a size higher i think a 4xl is a tiny weeny bit small on me there's a lot of room in the arms a lot of room in the shoulders just not enough room in the chest so if you're big chested like me make sure you're getting the right size for this because i honestly think i could have done going a size higher i'm sure i'll be able to put like a cardigan over it or something and it'll look so cute but look at the colors it's all pastel colors which are all my favorite colors and i just love the little frills so this is the second dress it's got sort of like bat wings which i absolutely love it's very like it's like mesh but underneath it's got a plain black like sort of bodycon dress for it don't worry about these these are just my cycling shorts so i don't flash anybody i absolutely love the color of it it's so gorgeous it fits me perfectly as well this was a 4xl so compared to the last one this one has a lot of room in it and it's very stretchy I know I'm spilling out a little bit here. I think I need some like boob tape so I can fit into this little bit here. There's like not much room for my boobs to go in, but apart from that, like this fits me perfectly. I just paired it with a pair of heels. I'm ready to go out in the town. This was advertised as a cocktail dress. So this is like for when you go out for like drinks or something. I was kind of scared of getting this one because on the model it looks really short but I also thought that I'm really short and the model might be a little bit taller than me so I thought it might fit me a bit better and I was right. I mean it's still above the knee but I'm still covered. I mean the back I think I'm covered I can't really tell but this is definitely one of my favourites. I know we've only reviewed like two outfits so far but this is definitely one of my favourite ones. And it's just so cute I just need to sort out this area like I'm just spilling out so much. 
this is definitely a yes from me this is so gorgeous i just really want to sort out this bit up here i feel very pretty it's giving me agatha harkness vibes from wandavision it's like that sort of vibe it's like an evil witch sort of vibe i can't stop flapping the bat wings but yeah it's sort of like a bubble dress because it kind of comes up here and then sort of goes outwards bubble dresses are quite good at like hiding your belly and like going outwards like this um so yeah i'll just give you one last look of the final thing i'll lift this up yeah it's very pretty okay this is probably the worst thing to wear in a heat wave this is so heavy um <laughs> This is so long as well. I'm like five foot two and this is really long on me, even with heels. Um, but this is a mermaid dress, mermaid sequin dress. I originally wanted the pink one, but it was out of stock. But this one is so pretty. This is our first evening dress. And it fits me perfect. The arms are very long though, um, but I have quite short arms. Fits me perfect around here. It's quite roomy not very stretchy though so make sure you get the right size i think i got this i don't know what i got this in um i'll find out when i put it on the screen right now what i got what size i got this dress in i've got to check when i put it on but with these shoes very pretty and the sequins are so cute um the only thing about the sequins is that they drop off quite a lot but look how gorgeous it is it's very flattering like around here and I just jingle. I'll be jingling as I walk. But I was so drawn to this. Like anything sparkly and glittery, I'm just like drawn to. The only thing is, is that it's really long. But if you're tall, then it might sit perfect on you. But if I was to go to like an event or like prom or something, I'd literally be like this the entire time. Holding my dress. I wouldn't be able to dance or anything in it. Like if I went to the Met Gala or something, like I would ever go to the Met Gala, but if I went to the Met Gala, then this would be the kind of dress I would wear. It would be nice to take pictures in as well. I know this, I know my cycling shorts are literally ruining it right now. I promise I'll take a picture for my Instagram of this dress because it's so, so gorgeous. I'll have to do a really glamorous makeup look with this and post it on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, it fits me really lovely. It's just really, really long. The sequins fall off a little bit. But apart from that, I'm so impressed with the quality of this. The actual quality of the dress is like amazing. The inside of here is like lined. So it's not like itchy or anything underneath. Like you can't feel the sequins. It's very well made. I know that for sure. It's just so cute. I absolutely love it. I think it's one of my favourite ones. I'm going to take it off now though because I'm literally boiling inside of this. It's like 26 degrees today in the UK which is like boiling compared to everywhere else in the world. Um... But yeah this is oh this is one of my favorite ones and i promise i'll get a picture for my instagram with this on right before i start talking about this dress i wanted to show you this belt that i got with for the other dress the sparkly one i don't think it would go with that dress though but it fits perfectly around my middle and it's very generous and i was quite scared that it wouldn't be i, I knew that the dress would come with this belt but I was kind of worried that it wouldn't fit around my waist. Also, I'm not sure how flattering <laughs> a clear belt would be on a dress, but I just wanted to show you guys it anyways, because that's what came with the sparkly dress. I probably won't use it, but I'll keep it. It might be useful for something. Okay, this is the fourth dress. This is like a mermaid bluish kind of prom dress sort of thing. Um, it doesn't fit up the side. Um, my mum's just tried to help me zip me in this. We've just tucked it into my bra for now. It fits nice around my belly. It just doesn't fit around my boobs. I'm an F cup and yeah, it's it's the biggest size. I got it in a 5XL um, but yeah, it just really doesn't fit around the boob area. Everywhere else though, it fits perfectly. It's very long on me but like I said, I'm five foot two, and everything's long on me <laughs> but it's a very pretty prom dress and it would be easily fixed i mean these dresses are like not really expensive so if you got them in plenty of time you'd be able to get them taken in cinched in you might be able to get it fixed around here if you're like me and you're big busted and it's just beautiful and flowy it'll be perfect as a prom dress my bra strap is kind of ruining the, the vibe of it right now but this little sleeve is really nice 
And I just really like the material of it as well. It's really pretty. And it cinches in here so it kind of flows out like this. I was going to put some shoes on with it but I'm not really sure <laughs> how it will work. I'm already like standing on it on the inside of the dress. But it's really pretty. I just wish it fit around here but you know, it can't be helped. I just realised in the last shot that my head was cut off um, but I just want you guys to see the whole dress. <laughs> this actually fits me up the back success i know this bit kind of ruins it i'll probably have to get like a corset or like something just to plunge me into this bit um but oh my gosh it's so pretty it makes me look like a princess oh it's really pretty i've always wanted a dress like this it just kind of drapes on the floor a little bit because i'm so short but if i get some heels on it might give me a bit more height but i think with these dresses you'll just always be draping across the floor it's definitely for like an evening type like formal event sort of thing but this is such a pretty dress like considering the prices of the dresses like the quality is just so amazing like there's this there's a lot of layers like this is the mesh layer and underneath there's this quite thick sort of like layer here i don't know what sort of material this is the material kind of puffs it up a little bit and these sleeves are just so cute i love it it's basically just mesh like bundled up together to make puffy sleeves this is one of my favorite ones and i'm so pleased that it actually fits me up the back um i was so worried i got this one in a 5xl which is the biggest size that you could get this in i just wanted to make sure that i had enough room to fit my boobs in which seems to be the main occurring problem with all of these dresses that i've got but this one seems to have fit around my boobs quite nicely. I just need to find something that doesn't look so blatantly obvious over here. But it cinches in here and it's a bit more flattering on my belly. And it just looks really nice on me. It makes me look like a princess. It makes me look like Barbie, a Barbie princess or something. Definitely one of my favorite ones that I've got out of this whole bundle, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I've put all the links to the dresses that I've tried on here today, along with the sizes that I bought as well, because I forgot which sizes I got for some of them. If you want to try out X Plus Wear, I'll put the link to their website in my caption if you'd like to try out some of their other clothing pieces. But overall, I was really happy with a lot of these pieces today. I was especially pleased with the last one. I was really worried that one wasn't going to fit me, but I can't wait to take some pictures with that one and the sparkly one on my Instagram as well. Expect to see pictures of me in these dresses all over my socials. Speaking of my socials, all the links to my socials will be in the caption like they always are. And if you'd like to see some more plus size fashion videos, then remember to subscribe to me. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!